dear teachers yesterday we gave the assignment of uh, phonics and also phonemes okay ye do cheeze hain these two things are very important in uh, english learning and english teaching okay earlier we used to teach in an old style style like a a for apple apple yani yeah, sheep okay this is the old style okay uh, so the new style is teach the students with the phonics because if we teach them phonics then the accent and the pronunciation will be strong okay moreover if we teach them phonics then there will be less error in spelling okay you and i if not you i makes lot of uh, spelling mistakes okay while writing english uh, words so why it's happening because we didn't learn with the phonics okay we learn in our old style so please learn the phonet uh, phonics uh, lingua phonics uh, there is a uh, program and learn the phonemes there are 44 phonemes okay what are these phonemes these are the basic sounds of english language if we make our children familiar with these sounds then their accent and the pronunciation will be wonderful okay because they would be a global citizen they will be traveling from india to america england australia okay so the entire world is uh, theirs so they need to speak a very good language even they are speaking in india if they speak proper uh, language with a good accent people will value them okay so you please being a teacher improve your pronunciation okay we indians uh, pronounce many words and uh, many letters in a wrong way okay like uh, we are uh, unable to pronounce uh, a zoo okay ju will say ju okay likewise uh, okay, we destruction destruction okay s we can't pronounce properly so there are many syllables uh, we can't pronounce properly so the second part is uh, you please understand these phonemes and teach your children these phonemes you see each letter has three characters suppose a a you write like this okay a so this a picture figure is what the picture of a right this is one component of that picture letter so the picture of letter a is like this agreed then the second is name name of that figure or picture is a okay so this second part and the third part i say the first that figure carries the weightage of 20% and the name carries 20% weight now rest of 60% is sound what is the sound of a a uh, so we have uh, attached here and even yesterday we have sent you okay all the phonics how to pronounce and teach the children uh, in the same style okay uh, a few teachers uh, have said that okay i'll teach students with uh, rhyme okay good but you see as per piaget don't confuse the children gradually improve them okay don't blast with lot of vocabulary a for apple a for aeroplane a for ant a for flan 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 no gradually you do your objective is to teach phonics then give emphasis on phonics only show the letter and ask a child to uh, produce the sound of this letter okay don't confuse him if you move step by step learning will be fast okay if you combine many things okay like in a, like uh, today's publishers no what they do they print uh, the capital letter then small letter then 10 pictures okay 1 2 3 4 apple ant and blah 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 this will confuse the tender mind okay don't confuse him okay first teach a then uh, you teach the sound of a 
take the help of only one figure then gradually after 3 months you build the vocabulary gradually build the vocabulary if you do gradually the learning will be fast rather we uh, we misunderstood that if we teach lot of things child will learn fast okay this is not the fact okay if you teach them gradually learning will be fast okay so keep this in mind okay one more thing you see there is a method in montessori okay one is naming then recognition then recalling so how you will teach pre primary students uh, letters a b c d first let them understand the name okay n r r please write down n r r method n r r method is name recognition then recall okay these three things you do initially then child will pick up fast okay uh, so uh, these are the things for the day 2 if you have any doubt if you have any clear clari- need any clarification please feel free to call or write thank you so much